behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee in unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. The holy angels of the Most High do not get as much attention as the fallen angels. Everyone is aware that many angels fell when Satan now deceived the angels by making false promises to them. Satan deceived many of the angels into believing that he can give them great kingdoms and the Godhead. Just as the Satan, Gadriel, made the same promises to Adam and Eve in the garden. Through Satan's false promises, many angels rejected the Most High. But now, O Adam, we will make known to thee what came upon us through him before his fall from heaven. He gathered together his hosts and deceived them, promising them to give them a great kingdom, a divine nature, and other promises he made them. His hosts believed that his words were true, so they yielded to him and renounced the glory of God. Many people believe all the angels, especially the watchers, fell when Satan and his angels were kicked out of the heavenly places to the earth. Israelites and indigenous black people, that is false. Not all the angels fell when Satan now fell. There are many holy watchers that are watching over mankind. The cherub that was guarding the garden to stop Adam and Eve from entering the garden said to Adam that many of them refused Satan's proposition, which led to the great war in heaven. He then sent for us according to the orders in which we were to come under his command and to hearken to his vain promise, but we would not, and we took not his advice. Then after he had fought with God and had dealt forwardly with him, he gathered together his hosts and made war with us. And if it had not been for God's strength that was with us, we could not have prevailed against him to hurl him from heaven. The result of that war, Satan and his angels were defeated and cast out to the earth. The remaining angels stayed in the heavens serving the Most High. The angels play a significant role in the Most High's creation as well as our lives. The workers of iniquity and religion do not teach the full gospel. They pick and choose which topics to push in the church. The excuse the workers of iniquity use for not teaching the full gospel is that some topics are obsolete in this generation. The workers of iniquity also proclaim doctrines that don't point to the Messiah is not important. The high-level workers of iniquity and religion push salvation through the false messiah to get many sheep to sin in the form of idolatry. Israelites, whatever you do, flee from idolatry. The Most High hates the sin of idolatry. Every time our people fell into idolatry, evil came upon them. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah, and behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense, and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit I send unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early, and sending them, saying, O oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. And they are wasted and desolate, as at this day. Ever since our people trade the Most High for the lesser gods, hardship and destruction plague their lives. 
The Bible said the Israelites would serve other gods in the land of their captivity. The scripture said the idols they would serve are made of wood and stone. We are the generation living in the land of our captivity. Israelites, beware of the God you worship. Many people are serving the Satans in the church as well as outside the church. The sin of idolatry is a great sin. The workers of iniquity push idol worship in religion as well as in all aspects of the beast culture. The scriptures say the heathens make their sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. The Most High do not want his people to have fellowship with devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The indigenous black people who welcome the beast culture are serving the fallen angels in the beast system. With the sheep not exploring the deep things of the Most High, their lack of knowledge is hindering their journey. The people of the Most High cannot elevate from glory to glory if they continue to follow after the heathens. The sheep will remain a babe and never mature. The behind the scenes series and many other series that dive deep into the word of the Most High on this channel always brings out the wicked to complain about the deep things of the Most High. The wicked always manage to find themselves on our platforms while the remnant struggle to find our channels. The workers of iniquity will try to devalue any message that draw the people closer to the Most High. Israelites, continue to draw near to the Most High by exploring all of his words. Do not restrict yourself because the synagogue of Satan said certain books are not scriptural. Since when did the synagogue of Satan do the will of the Most High? Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. When the workers of iniquity proclaim certain topics, such as the seed of the fallen, are not important because of the times, the workers of iniquity are trying to distract you to keep you from getting to the root. In addition, obtain the freedom the Most High has given you through his words. With the indigenous black people not knowing the deep things of the Most High, the workers of iniquity can say anything and many people will accept their false stories as truth. Because the people do not have the knowledge to speak against their deception, the synagogue of Satan's fairy tales continue to deceive the whole world. And a great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Because many Israelites and the indigenous black people don't know the deep things of the Most High, many of them are lost and oppressed in the beast culture. The word of the Most High said, be vigilant, and we are. Peter believed his generation was living in the last days when the Holy Spirit came. Yet here we are multiple generations after Peter's generation saying the same thing. Just because we are living in the last days, it shouldn't stop you from learning the full gospel. Remember, Israelites, through knowledge will the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. If the religious leaders of today was properly feeding the flock in their congregation, many of the sheep would not feel empty after Sunday service or even more broken. If the people of the Most High understood the role of the holy angels, many Israelites and indigenous black people wouldn't complain about not hearing from the Most High and their prayers not being answered. It is because you don't know how the angels operate and how the Most High communicate with his people. Many of you believe the Most High is ignoring you. Because only certain truth are allowed to be taught in religion, the indigenous black people remain defeated. Israelites, if you want to elevate in your journey, you have to step outside the box and search the deep things of the Most High. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. But we are with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. The workers of iniquity are aware of the significant role the angels play in the Most High's creation, as well as our everyday lives. The workers of iniquity decided that the knowledge about the holy angels are not important. Israelites, it's very important to work out your own salvation. Wherefore, my beloved, 
as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Do not let other people make decisions for you. Too many Israelites are allowing religious leaders determine how deep they will go with the Most High. In addition, placing the decision to obtain wisdom in the hands of men. Israelites, do not place your salvation in the hands of another person. The Most High made it that his people can seek him at any time. You don't have to go through your pastor or anyone you place on a pedestal to get to the Most High. A lot of you are idolizing religious leaders and sinning in the process. The scripture said, if you seek the Most High with all your heart and mind, you will find him. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. The holy angels play a big role in our lives. The angels are not only spiritual beings that live in the sky. The angels are not limited to the heavens. The Most High created the angels to assist mankind as well as to operate his creation. Israelites, if the Most High opened your eyes, you would be surprised by the many angels that surrounds the righteous. I have had many Israelites share with me that their spiritual journey is very lonely. The Holy Spirit of the Most High resides in you. The holy angels of the Most High are involved with your everyday life. You are not alone. Israelites, cast down the wicked imaginations that come from unclean foul spirits trying to confuse you and blind your eyes. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The holy angels are available to help the righteous. Israelites, just because you cannot see the angels that are here to assist you, it doesn't mean you are alone. If only the Most High would open the eyes of his people like he did for the young man that was with Elisha, many of you would be surprised with the numerous angelic spiritual beings that is standing with you and ready to assist you. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. The time has come for the indigenous black people to increase their faith in the Most High and believe his words. The Most High has a lot of angels. Each angel have a purpose and a ranking. Not all angels are watchers. The watchers that you have learned about in the first two chapters of this series are one type of an angel. Not all the Satans are watchers. Gadriel, the Satan that deceived Eve, is a cherubim. A cherubim and a watcher are two different types of angels. The Most High still have plenty of holy cherubims and watchers in the heavens. Before the fall of our people, the Most High made it that Adam and Eve were able to see the angels. Adam has life on earth, and I created a garden in Eden in the east that he should observe the testament and keep the command. I made the heavens open to him that he should see the angels singing the song of victory and the gloomless light. And he was continuously in paradise, and the devil understood that I wanted to create another world, because Adam was Lord on earth, to rule and control it. In the book of Adam and Eve, Adam revealed that at one point in time he was able to see the angels. He also said the angels assisted him. The angels that assisted him feared him. After the fall, Adam lamented about not being able to see the angels. Once the progenitor of our species sinned, the bright light that was with men was removed and the spiritual eyes closed. Despite the Bible saying their eyes were open, Adam and Eve obtained an eye suitable for the flesh and this earth. O spirits who wait upon God, look upon me and upon my being unable to see you. For when I was in my former bright nature, then I could see you. I sang praises as you do, and my heart was far above you. But now that I have transgressed, that bright nature is gone from me, and I am come to this miserable state. And now am I come to this, that I cannot see you, 
and you do not serve me as you were wont, for I am become animal flesh. Then Adam wept and said, O God, when we dwell in the garden and our hearts were lift up, we saw the angels that sang praises in heaven, but now we do not see as we were used to do. Nay, when we entered the cave, all creation became hidden from us. Then God the Lord said unto Adam, When thou wast under subjection to me, thou hadst a bright nature within thee, and for that reason couldst thou see things afar off. But after thy transgression, thy bright nature was withdrawn from thee, and it was not left to thee to see things afar off, but only near at hand, after the ability of the flesh, for it is brutish. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Despite not being able to see the angels, the angels remain on their duty to assist Adam and his seed until the end. Because the angels continue to assist mankind as they are created to do, the cherub that was guarding the garden to prevent Adam and Eve from re-entering the garden spoke with Adam and revealed a lot to Adam about what transpired before he was created. The cherub that was guarding the garden was instructed by the Most High to kill Adam and Eve if they tried to re-enter the garden. And the cherub who guarded the garden was standing at the western gate and guarding it against Adam and Eve, lest they should suddenly come into the garden. And the cherub turned around as if to put them to death, according to the commandment God had given him. Israelites, just because we are no longer able to see the angels, the holy angels continue with the duty that is assigned to them. The word of the Most High said, be careful on how you treat strangers because some have entertained angels unawares. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. A lot of you interact with angels. However, you don't know that you're interacting with an angel. If we didn't interact with the angels, then the word of the Most High wouldn't say we entertain angels unawares. A lot of us are programmed to believe the angels look the way the workers of iniquity depict them in the beast system. The movies and television play a big part on shaping our minds into accepting the graven images of the angels. We live in a world with a hybrid species that have a perpetual hatred against the people of the Most High. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The enmity show up in the beast culture in the form of racism and discrimination of all sorts, as well as in a fake ally support to help the indigenous black people obtain equality in the beast system. The synagogue of Satan who run this world with the Satans are full of themselves. The pride in them will not allow them to depict the true images of the most highest creation. They depict everything in their images to control the world. Every time you see an angel in a movie or a television, they have an appearance like the other species of mankind. The other species of mankind are the default to everything in the beast system, despite of them being a hybrid creation and not original. It doesn't stop them from depicting everything about our creator in their images. The Bible did say in the book of Maccabees that they would open the book of the law and insert their images. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Israelites, it is important that you understand this aspect about the Most High. If you believe in your heart that the angels of the Most High are white, they will appear to you in the image you believe that they are to assist you. The purpose is to help you, therefore they will take on the image and likeness of something you trust to help you. If you believe the angels are black, they will appear to you in a black person's appearance. If the angels appear to us in their true essence, most of us would run for our lives. We are not used to seeing the angels in their true nature. If you read the description of some of the angels in the scriptures, some of their appearance are extreme. They have multiple faces and eyes. Some have the image of men and animals. Let's not talk about the description of the living creatures.
also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. And every one had four faces, and every one had four wings, and their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass, and they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. We are not used to seeing the angels in their natural state. If the bright nature the Most High gave us was still with us, seeing the angels in their natural state wouldn't scare us because we would be used to seeing the angels. Because our eyes are closed and we obtain an eye suitable for the flesh, the natural appearance of the angels would make us afraid. A lot of the prophets of old who saw some of the angels in their raw form, the scriptures said fear took over them. Some passed out as if they were dead. Some of you jump when you see a strange shadow from the corners of your eyes. Imagine seeing the unique creation of the Most High's angels. Daniel have seen some of these angelic beings, and when he did, fear took over him. And it came to pass, when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning, then, behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Ulai, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid, and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. The angels will appear to you in the manner that you believe they look like to win your trust. Paul said in the scriptures he would put himself on the same level with the people he was teaching in order to help some of the people in his generation. In other words, meet them where they are to help them. Paul spoke to some people like babes because they are not able to handle meat. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. But hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. The Israelites who have been with me from the beginning of this channel know that I also do the same thing. From time to time I will use the pagan names or use the Bible with the pagan names because there are Israelites waking up every day. If I only use the restored names and speak in Hebrew, the newly awakened Israelites wouldn't understand and it would discourage them. The purpose of this channel is to make the word of the Most High as plain as possible for all to understand. In addition, plant the seed. The Most High is the one who does the work in his people, not your teachers, pastors, or anyone. The Most High will meet you where you are and then elevate you from glory to glory. Israelites, it is the Most High that does the work in his people, not your favorite YouTuber or religious leader. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Satan imitates everything the Most High does. In the spirit realm, the unclean spirits will take on the likeness of your family members to deceive you. Those spirits are known as masquerading spirits or familiar spirits. When you see a dead family member or someone you know in the dream and they are dressed in black, that is an evil spirit. The unclean spirit appear as your loved ones to win your trust. They are imitating the holy angels that appear to you in the way that you view them. Remember, deception is the kingdom of darkness way. The holy angels carry out the Most High's will. The Most High himself is not leaving his throne to destroy a kingdom. He doesn't have to. That is the job of the angels. The Most High give the command, the angels carry out the order.
We can see multiple examples of this throughout the scriptures. And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. The Israelites and indigenous black people who will obtain salvation, the Most High command his angels concerning you and send his angels to guard you. The holy angels assist us in numerous ways in our everyday lives. There are angels who are messengers of the Most High. When the Most High wants to bless you, he will send his angel to bring the blessing into your life. When you pray, one of the ways the Most High answer your prayers is through his angels. The Bible has given us countless examples of the angels of the Most High sent to respond to a prayer or to interpret a dream or a vision. And behold, an hand that touched me which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. The holy angels are used in significant ways in our lives as well as in the operation of the world and the heavens. The Most High have certain angels to look after every aspect of his creation. Presently, there are 300 angels taking care of our first home, paradise, according to the second book of Enoch. And there are 300 angels, very bright, who keep the garden and with incessant sweet singing and never silent voices serve the Lord throughout all days and hours. The Most High command his people not to make any graven images of the angels, nor do the Most High want his people to worship the angels. Israelites, the fallen angels wants to be worshipped. Remember Satan saying in his heart he will exalt his throne above the stars of God and be like the Most High? The holy angels are a servant just like you. The Most High do not want his people worshipping the holy angels or any idol. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Whenever our people interacted with the angels and they would bow down to worship the angels, the holy angels would always instruct the prophets not to bow down to them because they are servants of the Most High. The holy angels would instruct the prophets to worship the Most High. And I, John, saw these things, and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Israelites, the Most High is the only one you should worship. There should be no other gods before the Most High. Now that you are aware of the existence of the angels, you are now aware how the holy angels play a significant part in our everyday life. It is important for you to understand how the angels help you throughout your life. Knowing how the angels operate will help you succeed in your pursuit of freedom and relationship with the Most High. Stay tuned for part two of the holy angels. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. 